Well, there seems to be no end to the Israel-Hamas war, which has entered its eighth day today, and the casualties continue to rise. Israeli forces are maintaining their bombardment of Gaza in response to Hamas terror attacks. Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu in a statement said that Israel will eliminate Hamas and the counter-offensive is only the beginning. Israel's military has warned more than 1.1 million civilians in the northern parts of the Gaza to evacuate and move towards the southwards. WHO said that Gaza's health system is at a breaking point and that time is running out to prevent a humanitarian crisis. In an apparent denial of human rights, Watch report, the Israeli military said that it has made no use of white phosphorus in the Gaza war this week. Meanwhile, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin met with Israeli PM Netanyahu, Israeli Defense Minister and the members of the Israel War Cabinet to discuss Israel's current actions to defend itself and the urgent security assistance that is needed of the Israel Defense Forces. We've been talking about how major counter-offensive is being planned from the Israeli side and, and uh, uh, both with the kind of behavior, power or superiority that Israeli uh, defense forces have, they have been targeting Gaza uh, and the military hideouts and behind me was targeted as Hamas location in Gaza Strip uh, that has hit some target and the, the, the smoke or this plume of smoke that you are seeing is a result of that, uh, that missile launch the, that has been from the Israeli defense forces side from where we are standing about one kilometer from there entire stretch is filled with tanks and other armored vehicles which are back-to-back uh, -back targeting israeli uh, you know uh, hamas locations in gaza uh, people in gaza about 1.2 to 3 million people they have been asked to vacate uh, the southern uh, or uh, the, the northern gaza and move towards southern gaza so that uh, when the major uh, offensive or the territorial offensive will be started by the israeli side there would be less number of civilian uh, that would be under uh, the pressure of Israeli uh, targets or Israeli, uh, you know, firing. Uh, and this is how the situation has been evolving here. It is a very uh, typical war zone where situation is very unpredictable. And we have seen several soldiers also uh, staying nearby and they have been uh, you know the lines of vehicles or the soldiers they are they are pretty much also present here also and uh, with the with the kind of uh, you know incessant firing that is going on from the uh, from the israeli side it doesn't look like uh, hamas will be able to hold it for a very long time uh, because of the superiority because of the preparedness and because of the uh, you know un a precedented support also that the israeli uh, government is getting from all quarters from all around the world we are right in front of, of, of a location where Israeli military is preparing for an onslaught or a, or a firing range uh, is being prepared that is hitting the side of Gaza and you can see several of uh, these tanks and other uh, you know armored vehicles uh, which are lined up here they are targeting Hamas location uh, and uh, this is not very far from where uh, the Gaza has been and this is a location where uh, most of the fight has been going on for the uh, like uh, four or five days now. So the siege that has been on the Gaza Strip has been very, uh, you know, uh, kind of humanitarian crisis is also emerging there. Uh, we have seen number of people, uh, hospitals running out of electricity, uh, basic amenities, uh, you know, food is in short supply, fuel is in short supply. So this is exactly the situation right now. And this is concerning uh, from a humanitarian uh, point of view because uh, it is believed that about 8 to 10 people working for United Nations, they have also been killed. Other people working for Red Cross, they have been killed. People involved in aiding and assisting uh, other uh, other people for medical things, they have been killed in the multiple rocket attacks that has been happening from the Israeli side. Apart from that, uh, the, the plan is not to stop those attacks because the Israeli government has clearly told people in Gaza that they have to move, they have to move away from the localities where Hamas uh, are holding out. Well, News 18's Neeraj Kumar reports from Ground Zero showing how Israeli cannons are firing shells towards Gaza Strip against Hamas. Let's take a look. लगातार हम इजराइल से आपको युद्ध रिपोर्ट दे रहे हैं किस तरह से इजराइल काउंटर कर रहा है हमास का गाजा पट्टी में और इस वक्त हम लोग मौजूद हैं एक सीमा पर गाजा पट्टी और इजराइल के सीमा पर है यहाँ से महज कुछ किलोमीटर की दूरी पे है लेकिन पहले आपको दिखा दे करम आप दूसरी तरफ पहले दिखा दीजिए इस तरफ आप देख सकते हैं तोप इस तरह के सैकड़ों तोप यहाँ इसी तरह से तैनात हैं ताकि 
दूसरी तरफ गाजा पट्टी की तरफ हमला किया जा सके करम आपको हर वो तस्वीर दिखा रहे हैं करम आप और जितना हो सके नज़दीक से तस्वीरों को दिखाइए आप देख सकते हैं ये तो हर तरफ आपको तोप दिखेगा ये तोप हर तरफ मोर्चे पे तोप है ये बीच बीच में एक तोप से बीच बीच में हमला किया जाता है ये एक है आप दूसरी तरफ आपको करम दिखाएंगे हर तरफ हर ऊंचा नीची ऊंची नीची भूमि है तो यहाँ से थोड़ा सा ये एक फ्रेम में लाना सबके लिए मुश्किल है लेकिन आप देख सकते किस तरह से हमला किया जा रहा है और बार बार मूवमेंट हो रहा है बार बार बीच बीच में दस से पंद्रह मिनट के बीच में या कभी कभी पाँच से दस मिनट के बीच में इस तरह से हमला किया जाता है तोप से देखिए दूसरी तरफ से जो हमारे कैमरे पे हमारी आंखों की नज़र में तोप नहीं है उससे अभी हमला किया गया गाजा पट्टी की तरफ और यहाँ देख सकते देख, देखा आपने देखा ये लाइव रिपोर्टिंग गाजा पट्टी पर इसराइल के जवाब की यहाँ से हम न्यूज एटीन इंडिया आपको लगातार दे रहे हैं Well, Israel is preparing a ground assault of the Gaza Strip following Hamas's attack. Dozens have been killed, while rest of them are fleeing to the southern parts of Gaza. While the fact of the matter remains that it's the general public that is bearing the brunt of this war. 